Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And as you guys can probably hear, I do sound a lot different. Uh, I'm utilizing a different mic. I do apologize if you guys do hear any background noise. This mic is pretty much very sensitive, so it picks up everything. So overall, today we're going to be addressing the entire market, um, mainly Bitcoin, and pretty much how I think HBAR is going to play out throughout the upcoming months, uh, as well as in this month. So Overall, very exciting uh, days ahead of us, very exciting day as well as we do see Bitcoin and pretty much the entire market kind of continue its rally from yesterday. Uh, as I said, you know, October is going to be very, very bullish for all of crypto, especially following the four year cycle. So overall, let's check out some percentages. So we are up 2.42% sitting around a $2.14 trillion market cap. We see Bitcoin pretty much ranging here around the 48k zone. The next target for us is personally, in my opinion, 49.5k, somewhere around there. We're going to be addressing that and actually talking about the next target points. Overall, up seven uh, on the seven day span, 12.62%. We do see Ethereum peaking over $3,400, which is very bullish, as you guys already know. Um, now, we do see most altcoins kind of doing a little bit of a rally, nothing too crazy, right? For the most part, we see Solana up again 6.25%, uh, XRP sitting around the dollar five zone, and we do see HBAR uh, down here. Where is it? There we go at number 33, up 11, almost almost 11 percent, I should say, 10.77 percent, bouncing around there. But it looks very very bullish. So overall, I always address this chart. So <clears throat> when we're talking about Bitcoin monthly returns, right? We go all the way back to 2013, 2014. And from the chart, as you guys do see, you know, June is usually fairly rough and we do see that September is fairly rough. Now, this is not fully updated. This chart is not, you know, obviously in real time as we w we are basically in October of 2021. But we already know <laughs> from the past experiences that May was fairly bad. And even if we follow the 2018 structure, right? Now, I know that this is not the way that we would possibly do it because 2018 is pretty much after the bull run. But we do see that May and also even June is fairly rough, even for most percentage gains. But of course, in 2017, May was fairly bullish. In, in 2021, May was fairly bullish um, up until the end of May. Then we've seen June pretty much bleed out. Same goes for 2013. It was a negative 31% return. And then we follow into... July, which was pretty much a little bit of a, you know, solid state month. It wasn't too crazy. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty much a solid uh, August, 33%. August for us wasn't too bad either. We just kind of ranged on. September, usually always bad for Bitcoin. Every single, I mean, look at this. You know, we go back to 2011, negative 38%, negative 3% in 2013, uh, 2014, negative 18. And, uh, and it goes to follow, right? Then we talk about October. November and December. So 2013, October 59%, November 451% of an increase in price. 2017, 47%, 49%, 29%. So we are expecting October, November, and December for 2021 to follow through with this pattern and see a major bullish return for Bitcoin and as well as the entire market, right? So first off, let's talk about HBAR. So I'm very, very bullish on HBAR, as you guys already know. And I think HBAR has been showing us very bullish uh, sediment times. So when we're talking about, you know, it peaking over 40 cents, for an example, that is extremely, extremely bullish for us. I'm going to be addressing the Bitcoin chart for HBAR, as well as the USD pair for it as well. So with that being said, let's just jump over to, uh, we're going to go to the Bitcoin USD chart first, and then we're going to, you know, move over to the HBAR chart. So in regards to the Bitcoin chart, like I said, this is extremely strong. We bounced off of some solid support up there at about the 47 point, almost 8K zone exact. Uh, I think that this is extremely good for us because I think that we're going to range higher here as we do peak up a little bit above that zone. Um, as we continue on into October, just remember that the first half of October isn't extremely bullish. It's sort of us kind of, you know, trading sideways a little bit, but most altcoins are doing extremely well as we even see, you know, HBAR is doing great, but we see Q&T is up to $333. I told you guys when I bought seven of it at about $290. So that one's extremely doing extremely well. And it shows, right? Bitcoin for right now, 
is in extreme bullish states, right? And now we're, we're targeting 49.3K, basically around the 49.5K zone um, with the high targets of $63,000 by the end of October. And I still will say that. I think that that is pretty much the solid point where we could be. Now, overall, as you guys do see, we reclaimed every single MA, the 50, the 100, and the 200-day MA. So I'm expecting some high targets to be targeted right now, but we have to break over 49.3K. Same goes for back here, right, when we couldn't really peek over it. Um, officially, you know, 50 point like 6k almost was a strong resistance point until we broke out of that wedge so right now we want to target 49.3k after that it's 40 point uh 50.6k sorry and then the next point of that would be breaking over 52.7k targeting 63k by the end of the month so i'm watching this very very closely as we do see it playing out now i am very bullish on the bitcoin dominance chart as you guys do see we rejected off of the 52.67 percent zone exact at about the 50 day m a which i was explaining to you guys about that uh earlier this week which i'm very very bullish about now as we do reject off of that point i'm also watching a lot of other charts while we do this because i think that this could range us to go much much lower as we do range on into october as well as into november i think november is going to be the very bullish state for us now with all this in mind I'm watching the dollar here closely as we do reject off of some solid resistance on the dollar and we actually started to go lower. We're actually at 94 now. I'm personally targeting about 93.73 as the major support zone here. It's also a major resistance zone. So if we could break below that, I think that will most likely retest it until we really break that 93.44 zone. So overall, Everything looks fairly good within the markets. You know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin dominance looks good. As Bitcoin dominance is breaking down and Bitcoin is ranging higher, that's what I wanted to see. I've been explaining to you guys that throughout this entire week. So overall, when we're talking about HBAR as well, so as you guys already know, I have some major targets for HBAR. And a lot of people are like, well, dude, like, come on. Like, seriously, those targets can't be target this bull run. But that's the thing. You can't say that when we're talking about something like HBAR. So as you guys do see this this major rectangle here, I made this on some solid support and resistance. 50, uh, 42 cents is the major resistance point here. And look at exactly what we rejected off of. So until we break 42 cents on HBAR, we're not going to see too much higher movement in regards to the price action. But I do want to see us break above the 46 cent zone up there with the high targets of 50 cents plus. And I think that that happens most likely by the middle of October. I think the next major target for HBAR once we do break out is a dollar. I know a lot of people have been saying that. I know that I've been saying that for a very long time and a lot of people are just kind of saying that it's a dream, whatever. But the thing is, <laughs> is that this asset has been very strong throughout this entire dip. Uh, I said that it's going to regress the 50 day MA and that's a very strong point for it to hold. That's why I was buying at 32 cents as well. And uh, look at exactly what it held, right? So the 50 day MA has been a very strong point for HBAR and we are in some major demand zone as well as in that major 40 to 42 cent zone. And uh, I couldn't be any more happier with HBAR right now because opposed to most altcoins, it is severely outperforming most in regards to percentage gains and in strength. Now I am watching the HBAR Bitcoin chart. So as you guys know, um, I was watching this very closely as we did break the 750 sat level. And I was going to say that, you know, we could see a retest of the 714 that would basically break us down below the 50 day MA. We peaked down a little bit below it. Nothing too crazy. A lot of support there. So when we're talking about what's happening here, we are hitting some resistance up at the 875 sat level. That was also the level that we needed to break to really break over the all time high past or in the previous little run that we had. So overall, what I personally want to see is 875 sats being broken and we retest all the way up there at pretty much 1,153 sats for us to break over the current all-time high. So in regards to the USD pair and the Bitcoin pair, I think that they both look extremely strong in strength. It's not overbought. It's not oversold. Uh, we are up basically 10.48% on pretty much almost both of them uh, with the Bitcoin pair being up pretty much 10.28%. So these have been rising significantly in volume. Now, going back to what I was talking about in regards to percentage gains, how do we get to these high targets of, you know, basically $1, $3, $6, and potentially $10 to $15? Well, it's very, very simple, right? We have the volume. We are listed on major exchanges. We've seen multiple exchanges. This is a new one, by the way. 
Um, now, of course, I, I've never heard of Coin Market League, but hey, it does allow for a lot more volume to be flowing throughout the entire market as well as flowing into HBAR. So that's very good for us overall. More places to buy equals more people flowing in. That's exactly how I look at it. We are on Crypto.com. As you guys already know, Crypto.com is a massive exchange as they do have partnerships with you know, UFC. They have partnerships with a lot of sports uh, re related exchanges or organizations overall. So this is very bullish to me. Uh, you could buy it with you know, literally 23 plus currency. So I think that this is extremely bullish for us. Uh, we are on major exchanges. We are on major markets. So, you know, overall, there's a lot of places to buy this. I understand that a lot of people are still waiting for Coinbase. Don't worry, Coinbase will happen once we pump over a thousand percent, as we already know from you know ADA. You know, once ADA really broke out of the dollar, that's when pretty much Coinbase was like, all right, well, let's jump on this and let's actually list it. So overall, when we're talking about HBAR and HBAR's future, <laughs> I think that we are looking extremely good for November as well as for the rest of this month. I told you guys, you know, September 27th to the middle of October is going to be the very bullish sediment period where we do change from bearish to bullish. And guys, I couldn't be any more bullish. That is why I'm not a perma bull. I'm always bullish in regards to the long-term viewpoint, but short-term we could always be bearish or bullish. I'm bullish on both short-term and also long-term. So overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on. If you guys don't want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. If you guys do want more paid content, you guys can go to my website, ncashofficial.com, and get my exit strategies and all that kind of stuff. But nonetheless, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Wherever you guys are, I'm just beautiful. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.